Hey guys, it's Leah. So today I'm going to be doing a really, really exciting video and it's going to be testing five Pinterest beauty hacks. So I'm so excited to do this video because I've never really tried any Pinterest beauty hacks, only ones that are kind of common sense in a way, like they're really obvious things to do. So I'm super excited to see which ones work out and which ones will help me in the future with doing my makeup better and which ones will be complete fails and will mess up my face basically. So this video is also in collaboration with Floral Beauty. I love Kira's channel, please go and check her out. The links will be in the description down below so please check her out and subscribe and um, because she'll also be doing some Pinterest beauty hacks. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first hack I'm going to be trying out is to use red lipstick underneath your eyes to blur out any blue tones under your eyes so it should hopefully help to minimise the appearance of dark circles underneath the eyes. So this is just a bright red lipstick, I don't really know where it's from. And then I'm going to be taking a concealer brush and just taking small amounts of this underneath my eye. And then once that's on I'm going to be taking just an average concealer and covering it up but I'm going to only do this on one eye and then show you the comparison of the normal concealer and then the lipstick with concealer. So for the right eye I'm just going to take average concealer. And then for my left eye I'm going to be taking the red lipstick so I'm just going to pick up a small amount of this on the brush and then apply this to the areas of blueness, if that's a word. <laughs> So that's pretty much covered most of the blue tones in my eyes, so I'm now going to be taking the concealer and just popping that underneath. This is also supposedly supposed to make the area look brighter, and I actually think it has made it look a lot brighter. Um, I don't know, I think maybe just not bring it so low because it kind of makes your cheeks look a little bit red, but it definitely has helped to um, eliminate the appearance of blue and darker tones under your eye. Plus I think it actually helps it to blend out a little bit, just make sure that the lipstick is alright to go there and it's not going to affect that area because obviously this is a very sensitive, soft area of the face. So the first hack is definitely worth giving a try, I definitely recommend you using red lipstick under your eyes to get rid of the dark blue tone. So for hack number two, I'm going to be trying to curl my lashes and line them at the same time. So I've got an eyelash curler here and a Wet n Wild Colour Icon black eyeliner. <coughs> so this is just a plain black pencil liner and what it says to do is to draw along the top part of the lash curler so that when you curl your lashes you have to be right close to it and it should supposedly draw the line um, for you in the right place above your lashes. So I'm going to give this a go now. So I've drawn the line on and I'm just going to try and curl them but it's going to have to be really close to the lash line. I'm also trying to press it into the eye so that it actually goes on the lid. I mean, there is a line, but it's not on the lash line. I don't know if you can see that, but it has drawn on a little bit, but like really not in the right place. So I'm going to try and give it another go. Yeah, it does kind of work, but I think you'd have to get it in the right place and it kind of smudges on the um, eyelash curlers. So this one may work. I think I might actually try it with a liquid liner. So now I'm going to take a liquid liner and try and draw the line on and see if that works better. Okay, so I guess you have to do this while it's still wet. No, that hasn't really worked, so I'm guessing that hack is a little bit of a fail because it didn't really work. I mean, you could practice and try and get it right, but really I think it's just quicker using normal eyeliner. So the third hack is to use a mascara as an eyeliner. So I'm going to try this out with an angled liner brush, and I'm using the Collection Super Size Mascara. I just want to say now, I'm not good at doing eyeliner anyway, so if this is quite messy, that is not because of the because of the mascara or anything, it's because of my technique. I'm just going to try and take a little bit of the product onto the brush, and then I'm going to go along the lash line. This is actually working really well so far. So 
I would definitely say that using mascara as an eyeliner does really work. It just creates a really good liner, apart from it's quite hard to do the point at the end. Um, it might have just been the brush that I use is, is quite big and quite thick. Um, but if you have a really thin brush, this will work really well. And I'm guessing this will last a lot longer because it will kind of harden. So hopefully it won't feel uncomfortable. Um, but I really like this hack and this is definitely worth trying. So for the fourth hack, you're going to need a mascara. One of these lash and brow groomers and you're gonna need the bristly side. And lastly, some cotton balls. So the first step to this is to apply one coat of your mascara, which is what I'm gonna do now. And then you're supposed to take your cotton ball and just pop it in there and pick up some of the little fluffy bits. I don't know if you can see that, but it has got a couple of the little fluffy bits on there. And you're supposed to brush it into your lashes. This is supposed to kind of stick to the lashes and make them look longer as if they were kind of little fibers, but I've just got a really long wispy bit. But whatever, we're gonna try it anyway. So we're gonna apply another coat of mascara. Oh, it came off. I'm really sorry if you can hear my dog. I have no idea what he's doing, but he's having a massive barking fit. Thanks, Rolo. I'm then gonna to attempt to take another lot of this, but try and make them not too long. I really don't know what he's barking at. And finish with a final coat of mascara. To be honest, I don't see a difference in this hack at all. It just gets it in your eyeball and just looks like normal mascara. I'm so sorry about my dog, honestly. I need to go and see what's wrong with him. So I just went down to see what was wrong with him and it's a hoover. For some reason, he has a massive thing about hoovers and he will not shut up barking if he sees a hoover. So um, yeah, that might be a bit of a problem. He's now outside, so hopefully he won't bark. So the next hack is another quite popular one, and this is contouring with a spoon. So I'm taking a large spoon like this, and then on one cheek, I'm gonna be using a cream contour stick, which is from W7. It isn't very good, so I've decided to do on the other side to show you the comparison, um, a powder bronzer, which is the Hoola bronzer by Benefit. So I'm gonna start off with the powder because I think it might be a little bit easier. So I'm gonna line the spoon up with my cheekbone, which I think is about here. And then I'm gonna take the bronzer and follow the outline of the spoon. That looks pretty good. I quite like that, it really like curves around. You just need to make sure that you blend it out. And maybe don't go too high, like not all the way around the spoon. So far I'm liking this hack. I'm now gonna try it with the cream contour stick on the right hand side. Okay, so I've lined the spoon up. I don't really have, I'm gonna look in this mirror. I'm gonna be honest, that line looks pretty damn good. I'm now gonna take the Real Techniques sculpting brush and I'm gonna try and blend that into the skin. I probably should have done like more than one stroke because just one line is a little bit weird. But as I did say, this contour stick isn't brilliant so it probably isn't blending too well. I really like that though, I think that looks brilliant. So I'm gonna try and contour the head because I feel like the shape will be pretty good to just kind of go around the temples of your head. Or maybe not. Actually, no, I have no idea how this will work because I don't know. Anyway, that was the final hack. I really, really liked the last hack. I think that really worked. So as I said, that was the last one. This is the end of the video. I really, really do hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you want to see more videos and more hacks you think I should try out. Once again, make sure to check out Floral Beauty's channel. I absolutely love it. The link will be in the description below and I'll see you all in another video. Bye guys.